Excellent. Welcome. My name is Melissa Galladay. I am a nutritional pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. I love teaching you things about your body. I love teaching you how easy it is for you to reverse many conditions that you have, many conditions that the medical community has told you are irreversible or actually reversible through what you're ingesting, taking out the bad things, putting in the good things. I have seen recoveries that blow my mind. People that were really suffering were able to modify their body structure, modify their ailments, and repair and regenerate right before my very eyes. So it's an honor to do what I do, and I love it. And I do these calls. We have um, calls slash Facebook Lives three times a week. We do them Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time, also Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific time also Thursdays at 6 p.m. And one of the things I encourage you to do is if you have questions for me specifically, specific disease states, or questions about the pharmaceuticals you're on, and if you want some additional feedback, I would be honored. I have been in the field live as a bench pharmacist, as we like to refer to it, for 15 years, you guys. And I have seen people on a day, daily basis, I might see anywhere between 300 to 800 patients a day. And I want you all to know that what I would see repetitively is I would see these people get sicker and sicker, and it was a heartbreaker. And that's just the nature of the medical system right now. We stopped teaching doctors nutrition, and when we did that, we took a very vital part of their own understanding of physiology and biochemistry out of the process for them. That has since changed. In the, 2000, in the early 2000s, we started uh, medical schools across the country did start reintegrating nutrition as a... Uh, modality and as a curriculum part of the curriculum and so nowadays a lot of the younger doctors will know this but I can tell you firsthand firsthand experience I was in the field with a lot of doctors that didn't know these things that I know standard practice because pharmacists are taught biochemistry we need to know biochemistry because biochemistry explains how the drugs act in certain ways and that that helps us help you understand what's going to happen you know how the medications work the dosings etc for example, you know, when you dose a medication, your body also has to clear it out. It can do that through the variety of, of you know, organs that do that. The lungs, the kidneys, the liver, all of these organs are involved in the clearing out of this pharmaceutical product that you, you take. So keep that in mind that, you know, pharmacists are highly trained in biochemistry and, it, and it's something that I, innate, I love. You know, I'm a detail-oriented person and I really love learning about the intricacies of the body and how the body works at that level. So those are those are my passions. That's a brief overview about, you know, my story and I'm going to consistently do this. I'm uh going to be here on a variety of platforms. I'm learning a lot and I know right now, you know, we're going to be doing these Facebook lives. We're also doing simultaneously Zoom calls. And what that means is it's a number you can call in and you can ask me questions directly. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. I do that um again as I stated earlier in the times and we do have that posted all over. We are going to start a whole series of A to Z in the diseases. So if you got any random disease that you want to shoot over to me, the name of, we'll add it in the A to Z profile. Nevertheless, because I'm a contrarian by nature, we will not be starting with the letter A. We will be starting with the letter N. Later tonight, we will officially start with the letter A. And we're still discerning which one that will be. Right now, it's acne, but that could change. So, if there's a, a disease that pre, uh, you know, is comes before acne, we'll, we'll be jumping on that later tonight. I was my brain round to Alzheimer's and alcoholism, but the, those acne right now is still the winner. So, right now, we're going to talk about neuropathy. And what I want you to know about neuropathy is it's reversible. So, those of you that know people that are out there suffering from neuropathy, there are options for them. And we always start with the most affordable option, which is what are you eating? And you already are spending money on your food, and I encourage you to look at your diet. So when you go to the grocery store, you want to invest in high quality foods. And one of the biggest contributors to neuropathy is sugars. And sugars are really, really hard on the body, and I want to explain why. Sugar as a molecule, glucose, fructose, etc., dextrose, when they get in the bloodstream, they're pretty unstable. 
and when they're reacted with and, and you break them down for energy or they stick into a receptor, there's going to be a chemical reaction that's going to happen and they're unstable and they can blow up. They oxidize quickly and they cause a lot of, if you will, garbage to be in your blood. And sugar is a very inefficient fuel source, number one, and it's a dirty fuel source. And so when you get this the glucose flying around, the number one thing, like I said, when you're looking at your diet, you're at the grocery store, this is the starting point, where are you going to get your fuel? So I encourage you to get your fuel from avocados, from organic nut butters, from various other high fat, high quality foods, and that's going to burn a cleaner fuel source for you, number one. Number two, staying away from sugars. And there's another reason sugars contribute to neuropathy besides creating a lot more toxins to clear out as a fuel source. It's also when we eat too much of it, we develop a condition known in the medical community as diabetes or pre-diabetic. And I know for a fact there's a lot of you out there that are in that state. If you have neuropathy, you are pre-diabetic and quickly on the road to diabetes. And there are diabetic patients listening to this that know that. They, they do have neuropathy. And I want to explain to you biochemically, physically, why that happens. So you have the sugar that's in your blood and your body gets overburdened. It can't absorb all of that glucose. So there's not enough insulin for the insulin production to match your sugar load that you're ingesting. So you're eating a lot of sugar and your body can't grab it and pull it into cells. Insulin is needed to grab the sugar, the glucose, out of the bloodstream and put it into the cells to be used as an energy source. When you overburden your body with sugar, and we do this in a variety of ways, the fast food nation, what we eat at the, you know, what we're investing in at the grocery store, little Debbie snacks, etc., we're not getting, you know, that sugar load so high, the body can't produce enough insulin to keep up. And so now the glucose is in the bloodstream and glucose is a very large molecule in the bloodstream and it bumps into things. Think of it as like a bull rampaging through your blood and it's gonna bump into things when it's trying to be filtered through, for example, uh, the kidney. The kidney's a very fine porous system and when these glucose molecules are like hitting that really fine sieve that your kidneys are for, they're filtrating your blood and your lymph and when that is happening, that glucose hits that sieve and it actually causes holes. And that's why most patients that are diabetic will develop not only nephropathy, but also neur neuropathy, nerve damage plus kidney damage. Nephropathy means kidney, kidney disease, neph meaning kidney. So that glucose is flying around. So think of it in your nerves, neur neuropathy. So now the same thing's happening. You have uh, finer capillaries in the ends of your fingers and this glucose is coming along and it's just ramming right into the end of the capillaries and it's causing damage. And then you start getting leaking, you start getting edema, swelling of the extremities, and the nerves get damaged because of that, because of that glucose flying out of various areas where it really shouldn't be. And your body can't take care of it because you, on a daily, are investing in foods that are high sugar. So that's the quickest way for you to deal with uh, you know, stopping the damage underpinning that to repair the damage you will need to nutriate and I definitely encourage you to nutriate with you know the 60 essential minerals that we need for life the 16 essential vitamins the 12 essential amino acids that we need for life and of course the essential fatty acids we need these things we're biochemically designed to have them historically we always got them in our diet Regrettably, in 2017, we're not getting them in our diet, and we do need to seek outside sources or resources to get that into our, into our bodies. And so please do that. And that's a quick overview on, excuse me, on neuropathy. And if you have any questions, I encourage you to post them below. Please share this with anybody you know. You know, one of the things I love about having my medical degree is a lot of people that don't necessarily look at their diet or nutrition they will if it's coming from a medical professional. And I know you know people in your circle that have a lot of faith in their doctors and in the medical establishment, and I wanna be a resource for them. I wanna be a resource for you to build a bridge for them, to get information that's really gonna help them. That's what this is all about. So, so happy to be here with all of you today, and I'll see you tonight, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Bye-bye.